A little while ago, we took a good hard look at the Hazy IPA style and it seemed like you guys really liked this series, which is great because I really did too. I learned a lot about the style and got a lot of practice in with my equipment. So I asked what style we should take on next and Saison took the top spot. This is easily one of my favorite styles and there's a place not too far from my house that does it really well. A good Saison has a complex aroma dominated by spicy phenols, hops, and that classic Saison funk which all flow right into the flavor. Hops often play a leading role in good examples but for me the yeast drives most of the flavor. And that got me wondering, is an extract Saison worth brewing? To find out, we're going to brew two batches, one with all grain and one with extract and we'll taste them side by side to see if extract is even worth considering when making a Saison. Now let's make some beer. For both beers today, I'm starting with some bottled spring water and I'm just going to leave it as is. This is mostly to keep things simple, but I'm also curious if extract might have an edge in this department. For the all grain batch, I'm using some locally malted grains from Proximity Malt. I have 80% Pilsen and 20% white wheat. Let's get it going. I'll keep mashing this in until everything is nice and saturated, then I'll start a one hour timer. We've been hanging out at our mash out temperature for 10 minutes now. Time to yank these grains and get our boil started. While the all grain batch ramps up to a boil, let's get the extract batch mixed in. For this beer, I'm using the classic Brees extracts and I'm mirroring the all grain batch with 80% Pilsen Light and 20% Bavarian Wheat. Both recipes are targeting an original gravity of 1041. After emptying each container into the kettle, I filled it with hot wort and did my best to clean out all of the extract. With everything mixed in, let's crank this thing to full blast. We're up to a full boil on the all grain batch, so it's time for the first hop addition. Here's 42 grams of saws, and when the extract batch reaches a boil, it'll receive the same treatment. Our one hour timer starts now. We've got 15 minutes left in the boil and it's time to start sanitizing the chiller. It's also time for the next hop addition. Here's one ounce of saws.
just like that, it's time to chill this wort down and get ready for fermentation. As we get close to pitching temps, I'm oxygenating the wort with pure oxygen and transferring into an anvil bucket fermenter. Both batches will receive roughly equal pitches of Imperial Rustic and they'll ferment until we're holding steady at final gravity, which should be somewhere around 10.08. It's been just over six weeks since brew day and it's time to taste these beers side by side. On the right we have the all grain batch and on the left we have the extract batch. Clearly these beers have drastically different appearances but that should be fine. Saisons come in all different colors and I just want to know, is an extract Saison worth brewing? The aroma of these beers is similar, but I think the extract batch is a bit stronger and the all grain batch has a faint floral note for some reason. Flavor wise, the all grain batch is just too light. It needs a little more hop flavor and a lot more yeast character. But the extract batch is surprisingly good. It needs more hops too, but the yeast character is great with that classic bubblegum note and spicy phenols. And as I suspected, the extract batch also has better body, probably due to the way it's made. The water used to make the extract probably contains ions and minerals that make their way into the finished product and eventually into our homebrewed beer. Overall, I think the answer to my question is yes. If good tasting beer is what you're after, an extract saison is definitely worth brewing. And this might be a great tool to test yeast and other fermentation related questions in the future. This episode of Hops and Gnarly Brewing was made possible by these awesome partners. If you like this video, let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again soon.